hey what up decisive marketers we are back again with another video is called uh hue management today that we're going to be reviewing this tool is meant for you to manage your employees um and make it easier for you to you know uh onboard them uh, make sure that they are going through the right processes, checklists, um, knowledge-based uh, articles uh, to teach them how to uh, go through a particular task and other things in there. Right? You can have purchase requests, you can have uh, time off requests, you can track time, attendance, a lot of stuff in there. And uh, it's quite an interesting too. But before I dive into Hue Management, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content. Here we go. So here we are in Hue Management. So the first thing uh, that you probably want to do is to jump in and create a new employee. But we're going to go into my my profile first. So uh, in my profile, you, you know, I can fill in all my information and only the uh, admin can see all the, the details in here right and then uh, you know what kind of permissions do I have you know I can turn on everything if I want to uh, whether you are also uh, there's one thing right here it's called the purchase approval so when you send in a purchase request which is right here uh, only the purchase approval uh, can uh, you know approve the purchase then only the purchase payer can you know make the payment right and then you have the time off tracker uh, in here as well so you can lock uh, when you are not working okay so uh, also your you know your time off uh, in here right how many time off do you have so you can set that up and then uh you know your responsibilities like what's my task in here uh, you can add that as well uh any files form this particular employee itself and any policies that needs to be read so that can all be added in here okay so uh you can create a organization chart right here so because i'm the only person um so that is not um, there's no chart right but you can create a sort of like a tree right organization tree in here okay and then uh, responsibilities so this uh, because I'm also the only employee right here um, so what happens is that uh, you know by right what happens is that you have all your employees in Kanban box right here and then uh, everyone can put in like what's that responsibility like you know maybe SEO uh, or, or you know building backlinks for example okay uh, building backlinks okay then I can add a card I can add another card you know the description everything uh, let's see let me just refresh that a little bit what happened here Let me just click on this. Oops, I'm not really sure what happened, but it kind of went missing. Okay, we will jump into my profile again. And then responsibilities. It's not loading again. Okay, uh, maybe I clicked on something accidentally. But anyway, so this is for you to create like a Kanban board. Uh, you can create a list of uh, responsibilities and tasks in there, right? And then, uh, of course, you can create your new employees, invite them in here, okay? Uh, so you can have basic where you just have very simple information right here. Uh, you can have full where you fill in more de data in here, right? The contact information and all that. And then uh, at attendance. So what happens is that whenever someone uh, jumps in and starts working on uh, the job, uh, they will come in and time in, right? So then, uh, so they just click on this and then it will start recording the time and then once they're done, uh, they can just clock out, clock out right? and then you'll see is that, oh, how long they have, have they worked right so you will be able to see all the list uh, you know their clock clock uh, hours in here you can set the working hours and then also you can see everyone's time off um, you know time off uh, what do you call that you know time off calendar right? you can see uh, you know when are they on holiday 
you know, you can see their work anniversaries, the, you know, the paid leave, uh, unpaid leave, and so on, right? Okay, right. So next is uh, uh, let's jump into requests. Okay, so requests would be you want something from someone. Uh, you know, you can have a time off approval. Uh, a time off or you know asking for approval for something okay uh you know and then there's a pay post change okay so that means you're you're asking hey uh can i have a raise or can i change my uh job scope right so you can this will be the request right here and then uh you can see the assignment so you can assign I think you can assign task right here right so you can assign task to someone right here you can put in the deadline uh what's the situation what needs to be done okay so that's i think it's, it's quite seamless uh, i would see and then you can see like uh the entire companies uh, there's a campaign bot as well you can see what task is you know uh, been submitted and then who is uh, working on them in progress and uh you know complete what uh, has been completed right all this uh, in here as well and then you can create articles uh, for the knowledge base so i think this this is what what i like about um hue management right here okay so you can jump in and then you can look at uh, an article uh, so you can create create an article <laughs> Right, put in the steps how to do something, and the cool thing is with you management that is, uh, you know, screen recording built in already, or you can upload a video as well, right? So it's all in here. You can put in the title, uh, whether you want to make it public so anyone can read it, or only, uh, it's private so only the you know people who have access to it can, uh, read it. Okay. Right, and then what kind of type is it? Is it a policy or is it a warning? Uh, don't do this. Or is it the how to? Uh, this is how to do this. Okay, and uh, you know, can assign the policy to different departments. You can add text. Uh, you can group the articles into different categories. You can, you know, put everything in all in here. Right, you can uh, insert images, whatever it is, screenshots. Right, so all uh, up to you in here. Okay. So that's we that will be the knowledge base. You can even create uh, causes right here. So you can create like a uh, you know online uh, course for them. Okay, so like you can have high priorities. Everyone needs to go through it. Okay, let's see. So. So what happens is that you can put in your so you can create your articles here, right? And they can drag them in here, and then becomes a course. So you know that's how the LMS works. So you can create your co your your you call course. Uh, I mean your your articles. Those articles can be like a uh, in a lesson format, and then you just drag them into this section, and then you can build out a course. Okay. I think this is very nice. Uh, definitely, you know, very very interesting. Uh, the way that that is being thought out uh, for hue management, right? Um, I just kind of have a feeling that that the person who designed this has really managed a team of people before, but without that messy, uh, you know, project management, whatever it is. So it's just really uh, in terms of managing, making sure that people know what they are doing, they are trained, and all that. Okay, so I think this is very nice. You have a little cost in there, right? And then uh, you can s create purchase requests as well, right? So who is the vendor? Who is the seller? Uh, you know, and what's the purchase type? Set aside. So why are you going to be? Why are you buying, right? Is it uh, buying meals? Student concert? Not really sure what that is. Uh, I guess you can create different. Uh, sort of categories right or you're buying office supplies and all that okay and then what's the item you can put a link to the item as well right what's the quantity what's the price uh, what's the reason and then you know you can submit it to the finance or submit it to someone else for them to approve 
right and then if you are the one who is going to be approving stuff then uh, you know you can see you can view everything in all in here and then the last one would be the checklist right so what you want to be doing is create a template first for the checklist so uh so what you do is you you know you fill up the purpose and uh, the date so let's say the template is like listing a product on uh, woocommerce for example then uh, so what you're going to be doing is uh, this is an instruction this is what you're going to do this is uh, uh, you know go to this website uh, every day at this timing do this you know this is the you know checkbox whatever it is have you done this have you done this have you done this something like that so you can create your own checklist and you can see all the checklists uh, in here and pretty much I think that's about queue management okay so you can clock everyone out as well right so this is the settings uh, basically yep okay so uh, let me just kind of explain a little bit more um, because I know that there's no sort of like demo data to kind of show you how everything works right because um, I have not onboard my employees into Hue management at all but this is very very interesting because what this does is that you can have your employees check in you can see what time they are what time they are you can set what time they're supposed to be working right there's a working hour they, they jump in uh, they clock their hours okay um, and then um, what else uh, they can they can ask for time off uh, everything is going through a approval process right and then uh, you can also create uh, articles like this is what you're supposed to be doing and then you can create a course uh, from these articles itself you can ask for a purchase request to say oh I'm running out of uh, printer ink we need to buy more printer ink this is the link you know you can submit that and then people uh you know the the person who's in charge will approve it okay very nice uh pro process and then there's a assignment right so you can see like what uh, you can also see like what's their responsibilities which employee what they're supposed to be doing every single day those tasks you can see all of them right so it's not really like a project project management kind of tool um, just simple uh, overview of what your employees are doing and i think this is this is what a boss should be doing uh, managing your team um, although having some kind of project management tool would be a nice uh, mesh into human management but i think that uh, Hue management is great for like a, a boss that, that that just want to kind of know uh, overall what's everyone doing, you know, and 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 be and still have some kind of control over the organization, right? So uh, I think that's what Hue management is. It's it's kind of like a fallback on uh, how your entire company operates itself, right? So it's more like the admin kind of stuff, but you know it's it's it, it it works right so you know uh i think it's well thought out uh with human management so i guess that's all i have to share um overall i would say that this is um even if you are if you have a team that you want to manage you feel like you're out of control you don't know what people are doing you 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 know like like people um like things need to be done and it's not moving forward uh you know and, and i'm not talking about like project management but like when when we when when your when your team asks for hey we need money for this we need money for that it's not moving through you're not uh organized enough to to make sure that things are moving along or sometimes you might even have an employee that you don't know what they're doing or if they are even doing anything at all uh, you want to make sure that anyone who jumps in is probably is prop properly trained uh, and everyone uh, when they are doing some a, a certain task that is a particular uh, process to go through then uh, Hue management is definitely the tool for you right so that's all i have to share about Hue management if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about Hue management in the comments below lastly if you know anyone who could benefit from Hue management be sure to share this video with them i'll see you in my next video bye bye